Hey folks, Stars and Straps RC with you today. Uh, I just got this new to me and new to my channel uh, item in the FMS 70 millimeter Yak 130 version 2. Uh, the wingspan on this one is 34.6 inches, the length 41.7 inches. Uh, it's equipped with a 70 millimeter 12 bladed EDF unit with a Predator 2860. 1850 kV in runner and an 80 amp ESC. I'll have to look to see if it has reverse thrust on that ESC when we get into the box. Hopefully it does. Uh, they've upgraded it with CNC metal trunnion landing gear. Uh, it has eight nine gram servos installed, which are all metal gear servos. Uh, the CG on this one calls for 80 to 85 millimeters. From the leading edge and the recommended battery is a six cell 2600 to 3300 milliamp uh, i don't have six cell 3300 or 3000 uh, rc batteries going to be sending me some of those so i'll have to wait on those to maiden it i do have the uh liperia air or liperia pros 4000s which i may try to see if it'll fit and cg if it I'm thinking that that'll probably be too much, too too much weight for it though. But I'll I'll check it out. So let's get into the box. I have, hadn't decided to get this one until now. Um, it it looks cool, and uh, there's guys at the field that that have it, and I've seen it fly. Um, so I just thought, well, I'll get one because I don't have one. So anyway, you got your instruction manual. We're going to look at the first wing panel. Looking at the bottom, keep in mind the surfaces are all foam hinge, which on jets, I would hope that FMS in the future does put those, uh, three point or pin hinges in these because it, it a jet just needs those versus foam hinges in my opinion now you can see here the nine gram uh, digital actually metal gear servos even on the flaps which is cool the sticker is a peel and stick they have used the red tape to hide the wires which i really like when they do that the uh, finish on it is really nice from the start. Uh, all of this is peel and stick. Um, so I'll be getting some men wax and uh, going over this plane really good to seal that, keep it from peeling up on me. Uh, it doesn't look like it has the quick connect. On the wings which is no big deal the wingspan is not so big that it can't be transported even in a small car i wouldn't think got your bag of control rods goes together with about six or so screws looking at the rudder this has a tall rudder, so you've got a lot of rudder authority on this, which is really cool, I think. The uh, rudder servo is covered, which is nice, so that you're not seeing the servo itself. All the surfaces, again, do have the little ball links. All of this on the rudder is a peel, piece of peel and stick. your wing spar your elevator again uh, foam hinges on it so work those loosen them up the control horns all have the back plates with screws if you look at the wing again which I really like when they do that because that just adds a lot of security and peace of mind when they do that instead of gluing those in uh, your elevator servos, which 
Looks like you'd have to break the seal, the glue seal on this plastic piece here to get to those servo servos to service them, which shouldn't be a big deal. Your nose cone, it is held on by magnets and not a tongue and groove piece. Got your drop tanks or your auxiliary tanks. Underneath the fuselage is the other wing panel. Uh, which is the same as the other. Again, foam hinges on the flaps and uh, ailerons. <laughs> Something that uh, I've noticed on some of their planes that they're doing, which I'm not a huge fan of, is... Uh, where they use the double-sided tape to hold a flying surface in. So I'm assuming that the rudder is held on with this double-sided tape and foam tack. Uh, it just makes it really hard to get in there if you have to replace it. Um, no huge deal, but I'd like to see them change that. It would be nice. Um, Looking at the bottom, the uh, plastic pieces here that your main gear and your nose gear go into. Uh, this looks a little bit warped, but I'll try to work it if it interferes with the retraction of the nose gear. The decals, again, peel and stick. I, I like the red. The red red shows up really nice on the in the air. Um, looking at the uh, pilot, decent scale pilot in the, for a jet. Not much detail on the instrument panel. Uh, it would be nice if it was a little more detailed, but it does have an instrument panel in there. Uh, they are again using. The EC5 connector in there, which I really like. Looking at the throttle, it does have the reverse thrust uh, wire. So this will have reverse thrust as long as you're using a eight channel receiver, which I will be using. Compliments of FMS. Not a whole lot of room for a battery, guys. Uh, trying to get in there you know, to, to get a battery in and out, especially a six cell, but, but we'll, we'll manage. Okay. No problem there. Uh, for the receiver, especially an eight channel receiver, it's going to be kind of tight. Uh, maybe install it up, uh, upside down back here or something, but, um, hopefully I'll, uh, I'll get this together and, and I'll get a maiden, video on this this weekend uh, should be fun uh, again this is the 70 millimeter yak 130 version 2 look for my discount codes on my description uh, and a link also to rc battery on there thanks for watching